In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Have you ever felt holiness and sanctification is very hard, wherever you are? Have you heard that we are not in Egypt, or Sudan, or any country of the Middle East? We are in America, or in Europe, or Canada. So everything is lawful. Do you have an excuse for yourself and for your deeds to be away from the fullness of the truthfulness of the Word of God? Because you live in a certain country, whether this country is very open or conservative, let us go to Virgin Mary, because today she wants to teach us that we can live holiness anywhere and everywhere. Going back to Matthew chapter 2, we know the story that the Holy Family, based on the instructions of the Lord through the appearance of the angel to St. Joseph, they went into Egypt. Now they are coming back because of the death of Herod. And here what we can find in Matthew chapter 2 and verse 22. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea instead of his father Herod, was afraid to go there. And being warned by God, it's not the choice of St. Joseph or Virgin Mary, it was the choice of the Lord. And being warned by God in a dream, he turned aside into a region of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that, is my, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. So what is Nazareth? And where is Nazareth? Yes, it's in the north of the land of Palestine, but this is not the idea. If you go to any historical book about why Nazareth and how it was a city full of sin, city full of money and different other things, it was a place for many merchants to work there. And more than that, you go to John chapter 1. We find the encounter, one of the first encounters between the Lord himself and Philip. We read from verse 43. The following day Jesus went, wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And here is the claim. And Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Yes, there is something not only good, it is the most holy, the son of God. It is the Ban Agia, Virgin Mary, lived there. It is Saint Joseph. And now the challenge that he wanted to put before us all. Are we willing to see that holiness and sanctification is a call for the whole church, wherever you live? Whatever your circumstances, whatever your career, holiness is a call for every one of us. Virgin Mary is telling us and teaching us. She lived in this city that everyone at this time knew nothing good can come out of it. And she is encouraging you and me, wherever you live, whatever your profession, it's a time to follow the call of sanctification and holiness. If you believe that the Lord was telling us, be holy, for I am holy, is not telling us something not attainable. Something will never be achieved because there is a power in the spoken word of the Lord. If he's telling me and you be holy, he's empowering us to be holy. Let us imagine Lazarus after four days of being in the grave. He heard the voice of the Lord, Lazarus, come out. What sort of power he has at that time? I can't say it's zero, it's minus infinity maybe but he was able to obey and to rise based in the power of the spoken word of the Lord himself. And he is telling me and you today, 
It's time to know that you can live a holy life. It's a condition. He said in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 14, holiness without which no one can see the Lord. Please don't compromise in your own personal sanctification. Don't say we are living in the West. This is the lifestyle in the West. And if you are a parent, please don't give this allowance, which is not in your hand, not in your authority, to your kids. We are not in Egypt. Do whatever you want. Or even you are ashamed or afraid to warn your children. Be careful. This is not right. It has nothing to do with where you live. It's about the truthfulness of the Word of God. And the Lord, in His will, St. Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3, this is the will of God, your sanctification, my sanctification. And Virgin Mary is telling us it's possible to live this sanctified life and to see that wherever you are, the Holy Spirit is empowering you. God Himself is giving you this grace. Lot lived in a very sinful city. Yes, it was his choice, and it was a mistake from him. But God protected him to live a righteous life. As St. Peter said in his second epistle, chapter 2, and today, the Holy Spirit is encouraging us, and Virgin Mary is teaching us, holiness and sanctification is possible everywhere. And he's telling me, seek it, and you'll find the power of the Holy Spirit will be given a grace above your imagination if you choose to live this holy life. The Lord himself prayed in John chapter 17, For thy sake I sanctified myself. It's time to live. I can't sanctify myself, but sanctify me for the sake of the next generation. Maybe I'm not married, but you can sanctify your next generation by asking God to sanctify you, your mind, your heart, and everything wherever you are. Virgin Mary teaches us that holiness and sanctification are possible everywhere. May the glory of Lord Jesus Christ be with you from now and forever and ever. Amen.